Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In today's session, we will try to learn how to update a table in SQL. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So, how to update table in SQL. Let's quickly take a look on the syntax for today's function. So here we have the update keyword, table keyword, and the table name which you want to update. And followed by that, we have the set keyword, which will help the SQL to set a particular column name to a new parameter to which you want to update it. Now you're giving a where condition over here. So where is the keyword and the condition is a user defined condition. And the combination of where and condition will help SQL to identify a particular tuple and update the parameter under that particular condition. Now that we have understood the syntax, let's quickly get back to the SQL IDE, which is MySQL Workbench and try to execute a sample command. So we are on the IDE and previously we tried to create an employee table. So let's select the same table. For that, let's use the database we created. That is simply learn db semicolon enter. So we are on the simply learn database now. To update a table, we need to have some data in it. So, as we remember, we just tried to create a normal table in the previous session. Now, let's try to add some data into the same table using the insert command. So, let's try to make use of the insert command. And insert into is the keyword, employee table is the table name. And these are the columns we have in the employee table. And followed by that, we have the values keyword. And followed by that, we have the data which we need to enter into the table. And these items are in the form of a tuple and every tuple is covered using parentheses. And inside the tuples, you have the first one, which is an integer type data, which is as it is. And when you come into the text type data, they are covered using the single quotes. So let SQL identify that it is a character type data. Now, after entering all the tuples separated by comma, we have a semicolon, which indicates the end of the statement. Now let's try to run this particular statement and add the data into the employee table. So let's select the database once again. And now let's try to add the data. There you go. Now we have the data added onto our employee table. Let's quickly check the employee table. Select star from employee table. There you go. We have all the data added onto the table, employee ID, employee name and employee address. Let's say the last employee, Jeremy, who's been working in Delhi since a past couple of years and you decide, being the manager, you decide that he should be relocating to Hyderabad and you need to update the employee table now by changing the location of Jeremy from Delhi to Hyderabad. Now let's try to run our update query. So first we have the update keyword, then employee table then set emp address equals to hyderabad where condition emp id equals to 1006 and semicolon so there you go the code is complete we have the update keyword followed by the table name then set keyword to set that particular column that is the employee address to the key hyderabad from delhi we are changing it to the hyderabad which is value or key by which we consider and since it is a text type value we are encoding it using the single quotes then the where clause and the condition which is employee id must be equals to 1006 now let's try to quickly run this command there you go. Now let's recheck if the table has been updated or not. So select star from employee table. Let's run it. And there you go. The last location, Jeremy, which was Delhi, is now updated to Hyderabad. So that's how you update values in a table. 
Now with that we have come to an end of this session and if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, do let us know in the comment section below. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.